go me. So I bought the book and I haven't read it yet. Are you surprised? I'm not. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all? It's so good to see you all again. I just thought today I'd do a quick little video because I am v-stressed. I have a lot of assignments due at the moment. I have one due tomorrow actually. That's fun. But I thought just to kind of make sure I'm uploading regularly, I would do the bookshelf scavenger hunt. So the idea is that I have a list of questions over here on my iPad that I have to find the different books on my shelf. So I probably won't show you me trying to find each book because there would be a lot of editing <laughs> and a lot of crappy footage that you guys would have to watch. So some of them I will because they'll be on the lower shelves, but some of them I won't bother just to save you guys having to watch a whole bunch of garbage. So without further ado, let's find some books. The first one is find an author's name or title with the letter Z in it. It's I only have one book. I know I only have one book. And that one is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Find a classic. This whole shelf is classics. So. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Find a book with a key on it. Love Lies and Spies by Cindy Anstey is covered in keys. Find something on your bookshelf that is not a book. <laughs> They're not books. <laughs> Find the oldest book on your shelf. I'm not actually sure these are my oldest books, um, but I believe they're from the 40s. And they're these two little copies of some Jane Austen stories. So we have Pride and Prejudice and Northanger Abbey and Persuasion. I think they're from the 40s. I think I looked it up once. So these would be the oldest books I own. Find a book with a girl on the cover. Hmm. How difficult. The Entire Lux series by Anna Godbinson. Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo. The Last Days by Scott Westerfield. Should I continue? Find a book that has an animal in it. Nevermore, The, Ti the Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. Because Fen the Cat. Look at Fen the Cat. It's a giant, giant kitten. Giant kitten. Find a book with a male protagonist. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Find a book with only words on the cover. That doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. I've gone with The Truth and Lies of Ella Black by Emily Barr. This is an advanced reader's copy that I won at book club. Technically it has the penguin symbol in the top, um, but mostly it is just words. So I'm making it count. <laughs> Hello friends, editing Rhiannon here. I'm currently editing my uh, scavenger hunt and I was like, I can't think of a book that's only got writing on the cover. It, this is the only one I have. No, no it's not. The Graces by Law Eve is just black with gold writing on it. I'm so stupid. Find a book with illustrations in it. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Has chapter headings and it has illustrations in it. Not to mention the end pages are also printed, but has illustrations in it, so. Counts. Find a book with gold lettering. Picked out a few different ones here. We have Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton. Timekeeper by Tara Sim. The Spine of Caraval and Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor has gold and the actual like real copy has gold as well. This is an advanced copy that I won. I win a lot of advanced copies. <laughs> I'm just starting to realize that now. I was sticky noting it so that I could remember things later and then I got about here and just stopped. I don't know why and I regret it now because I'm reading book two. I'm reading Muse of Nightmares, I'm so excited. Anyway, find a diary, true or false. I don't actually have one. I have my own diary that I've been journaling in, but I don't have a book that is a diary. I really don't. Wait, okay, I haven't read this, but this is The Poison Diaries by Wood Northumberland, and it doesn't 
actually it isn't actually a diary I don't think but each chapter is a date like the start of a chapter is a different date so see like that's 8th of April I don't think it counts doesn't matter <laughs> Find a book written by someone with a common name like Smith. Suzanne is a pretty common name and so is Collins. So Suzanne Collins together would make it a more common name. I'm really reaching here guys, okay? I'm really reaching. Find a book that has a close up of something on it. Ha ha! <laughs> it's a close up of a foot. <laughs> Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. I want to say that it's gonna have to be Les Mis. I can't think of anything that would be in an earlier time period than this. Find a hardcover book without a dust jacket. She's back. It's hardback and it doesn't have a dust jacket on it, so. Find a teal or turquoise colored book. I mean, this isn't the whole book. But A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue has a teal slash turquoise colored spine. So find a book with stars on it. Legendary by Stephanie Garber. Look at all those stars. Look at all those stars. Find a non-young adult book. They have two whole shelves. Anna and the King of Siam by Margaret Landon which is what The King and I the Musical is based off of and I really like The King and I as a musical. I think it's very good. Rogers and Hammersteiner. Anyway, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. As always, my social medias are linked down below, as is the original creator of this tag, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye! Which book do I like with an animal? That's got a lot of ravens in it. Oh! I get why there's stars now. I'm so stupid.